Maybe what Navi's lanes are. Liquid might and see, might see if they can get the info early and then try and react to that. But uh, what are you expecting from this? Who's who's going to go where on the map? I think it's going to be Matu mid, right? That's what I would imagine because he's done the Lycan matchup before. He gets sacked and they like to oh, oh. Yeah, right yeah, a little awkward. Who's going to start it off? Look at the Arctic uh, first slow onto Crystallize. Look at the Fisher as well. Moving closer and closer. Chaos Bolt from Miracle and that'll be your first blood. Go in the way of Liquid. Who's going to take it? Yeah. It is going to be Matsu. So he's mid. They gave him that kill too. So I think that's what they're trying to go for here. Like even though he doesn't win versus a Viper, he'll be able to farm because he gets his uh, passive regen up. Sure, Nether talks him with the break it later on, but you know, and, and I guess in Earthen's not really that that mana efficient. Yeah, and we'll see how hard they set the lane because Liquid could send someone mid to, to hang around with Matic yeah. in that matchup if indeed that is going to oh. be the pairing we get. It looks Liquid always tends to draft themselves the draft that wins late game is what I've been realizing every single time. So I think that's their 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 like, thought process with the CK pick that you look at Navi's lineup and they cannot really deal with Phantasm later on. Sure, they have Fatal Bonds and stuff, but they don't have any of these like the big AOE like, spells, right? It's just Fatal Bonds. And like, you can see, you can say Nether Toxins and AOE spell and like Impale, but those aren't, you know, that's not what I'm talking about here. It's like these big damaging spells that work with Fatal Bonds well. So that's, I'm pretty sure that's what Liquid's going for here. Oh, for that straight lake. Did you see that as well? Liquid, take all four bounty runes. They got all four? Wait, how? I think Na'Vi oh, was just terrified. Skilled, oh, my control skilled blink. He did as well, yeah. All right, so I was like, how did he get it so quickly? Yeah, Na'Vi couldn't get to any of the runes. Okay. That's something. I've never seen that before. Getting all four bounties. It's a great start for them. And it looks like Navi's trying to go for the aggro tri lane here. Try to punish this, but... I mean, how aggro can it be? That's the question, because GH is out and up. He's moving in. They've got the Arctic Burn slow. Kuroki trying to get it onto all three targets. Only gets it onto the couple. As they heal onto Crystallize. Crystallize will be fine. But uh, it's... It's going to be a challenge, I feel, for this tri lane to, to get something done. Unless they're able to, say, get GH, because a lot of the time, the fishes, the stuns from CK, Liquid have the chance to turn it around and focus the target now. I think this is a scary... Yeah. This is a scary defensive tri lane. If you get out of position whenever they have the Arcly burn up, you're very at risk of dying on the Warlock and yep. the Mixes I don't really think Navi has too much skill potential unless they catch one of those supports on the side there. Killing Miracle is a very mighty task. They don't have great damage between three heroes, Warlock, Venge, and Nyx. Fisher comes out, finds Hineko, they get a stun as well, follow up with creeps on him. Oh, good stun comes through from Roger, buying some time for Suneko with the heal. He will be fine, but pretty much uh, our worries, as, uh, as we thought, being shown here as Liquid. Just seeming to pack more of a punch here on these early levels than Na'Vi's own aggressive tri -lane. Yep. Opposing lanes, mind control. Not doing so hot versus general. 3-1 Queen of Pain CS to the 11-4 Beastmaster. Seen how dominant the hero has been lately. Should be able to recover at a decent rate though once you get some levels on the Queen of Pain. And mid lane as well, like we said, the Viper should win this one pretty handily. But under tower, likely to farm fine. And once you get a couple levels of battle, you can get that bonus regen and you do okay. I like it. Still able to give Dendi, yeah, that run down. Yeah. But the amount of physically as the hound. That's also because he got first blood, so he started yeah. with boots on top of his regen. We'll see GH doing what he tends to do. Walk toward mid, look for that block. Completely switch up the way that the lane advantage goes. Regen wise, Dendi down to just a lone fairy fire. So this would be a great time if Dendi does come past the step. Yeah, he's bringing out himself out of south now on the Viper, on the Courier. Yeah, this is all, of course, under the, the watchful eyes of Na'Vi's ward, so then he won't overset the mark. He'll be fine. GH realizes and returns back up to the top lane. So Na'Vi didn't get a chance to actually block any of the full camps in the top side, and they went for aggro. So I think it's going to be tough for them to stay in experience and uh, similarity in experience versus Liquid. If Liquid can just keep getting chain pulls off, that's where they're going to start getting a big lead versus Na'Vi's tri lane. Revenge already suffering a bit, 8-3 to the 13-2 of the Chaos Knight. You gotta kind of ask yourself where, you know, where do, does this sort of move play? Because this tri lane is up top. Of, they they can't leave the Venge alone. You know, having yeah. these lanes set out, and so it's very hard for them to make any movements. And as we saw, you know, GH does. He he has the freedom to move around. That yeah. top lane can suffice with just the two, Kuroki and, and Miracle at this stage. So very hard for Navi to really make any sort of moves. But you say that, yeah, the mid lane and the bottom lane. It is good news for Navi. They are. Yeah. They're doing fine there. So it's gonna be more about when they grew up with this massive amount of wars and this potentially very strong mid game Navi can have. 
It's about to be nighttime though, and that's when the howl starts really kicking in. Yeah. So that's where the tri lane becomes way stronger. And yeah, the, you were touching on it too, is Navi's heroes, they don't really have great roamers. Liquid, they walk up into for the bounty rune. Roger actually ends up getting it here. Roki and GH, there's three heroes there. They gotta be a little bit careful. Stun was off the mark though for Roger. If that connects, yes. it may have bought time for Crystallize to come in with his own Radiant's magic missile. Could have got a kill. Dendi does have a haste yeah, rune. He's headed up this time. Yeah, the stun hits the Na'Vi. They get the kill. GH down. Quick moves from Dendi as he picks up the dream rune for that situation. And he gets himself back just in the nick of time. Not, not missing a single crit. Base taste. Crystallize, though, definitely suffering, as we were mentioning. 13-3 CS to 24-4 and four of that Chaos Knight at the moment now. But the other two lanes, definitely not be favored. Nice time hits. The howl gets amplified by double, but he didn't end up getting too many points, and he wants to have that one level point of wolves. So one, 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 three build for Matu this game coming around. I'm in control. I think we try to set up for my control here. They've got mana burn skill too, and my control is very low on mana too. So coming up from the rear, Roger gets the mana burn off. My control is completely oom here. They're getting yeah. the body box too. I think we've got quite enough damage with the stun. It's going to be close. GH comes in with the TP, but I tell you what, it's not in time. Mind control's done. GH should find General in response, or at least he's looking for it. Oh, General could get away. There's no points in the passive yet. In fact, General, he comes back in, mans up, starts to beat into GH. They can't quite bring the Shaker down. In fact, Roger did tank a couple of tower hits. May cost him his life. No, turns with the stun, and he gets the kill. Roger takes down GH. Kuro trying to finish him off here as he flies across the tree line and he does manage to find it. So both teams sort of trading kills back and forth, back and forth. GH underestimating how much damage he would take. He had 10 stick charges. So he was trying to man up and get those stick charges off before that, but he had a stun connect and he ends up paying with his life versus Roger. But yeah, Nobby looking pretty sharp right now. Still not at a net worth advantage just yet because of that first blood. But three lanes, not going, not going too bad. Just crystallized is the one who's suffering a bit, but they do that to him some, most of the time on Navi. They end up emphasizing on the other two lanes a bit more. Even though they had him in that tri lane, he, he is a bit sad. Slow off, Chief. Does find the fish and no sort of block. But the Arctic Burn connection, in fact, with the Wolves blocking Dendi up. Looks like he should be in trouble. Nice stun, catches on two of them. It's buying more time for Dendi to get out of there. But again, this beautiful block from Matumba Man and his Wolves does allow them to get the kill. Kuro now in trouble, but indeed, Matumba Man with the ult ready to turn. Looks for Zaneko. Fisher block is out. Matumba Man claims the double kill. They do end up losing Kuroki to Roger as Roger continued to chase him down. Well, that's say some great... Great micro from a Timberman man there with the wolves. There's a reason this guy's known as the best like him. And that right there, those are level one wolves. Beautiful body blocks. That's because of the skill build he went for for the Radiance one one three build. And he's queuing up the necro book. He wants to be able to rush that one out early. Yeah, he's yeah, got the backup of Roger. One stun thrown out as the crystallize. In fact, looks determined. Magic missile. He wants to man up onto Miracle. It's gonna be close. Pops the stick charges. Miracle as well. His own stick. Kuro's got enough damage to take crystallize down. Roger. Just has to be careful. Miracle's still got a bit of mana to play around with, but he is very learned. In fact, oh, Roger, he turns with the stun. Again, manning up, but Miracle salves and will be back up. GH rotated bottom with my control, and they found out on the Beastmaster. That advantage that Beastmaster had in the early game is gone now. Queen of Pain actually has their past in the net worth, as well as the last hits plus denies. Mind control. Doing a great job in that bottom lane of recovering. And let's take a look at how the levels on the support are doing. So, Kuroki's level 5, he's only level 5 support. As GH picks up a bounty and gets 5 too. So, they were doing a better job of distributing their experience, as we kind of expected, because they had that safe lane try in comparison to an active try lane. It's a lot harder to maximize. Dendi, of course, on, on this 5 phase, he's at the highest in terms of Na'Vi's cause. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, the question is, what, what is the Viper going to do this game that's, that's so good for Na'Vi? You know, they've obviously drafted it. What, what's its strength so that they could actually abuse? They want to group up with it. That's what I'm seeing. Bottom lane, yeah. my control, and GH, and my crystallized. Yeah. The heal from Seneco. Is it enough to keep him alive? No, not on that burst. Control has. They get the kill. My control is a bit careful with the Fatal Bonds. Especially with GH still tanking some of the damage. He's looking for the fish. It does find it, but Seneco on the other side of the Fisher. 
And the Timmerman still able to reach across the, the wall and take him down. The Timmerman making the move. So yeah, they're, they're trying to group up with the Viper, but they're starting to pay a lot around other planes. And Liquid does have a very strong lineup actually just bring him down with that minus armor uh, yeah. application from the Chaos Knight. Plus Lycan as well. They do do a, a ridiculous amount of physical damage on the side of Liquid with these heroes. And then they have Wyvern for later on. Yeah. Got great, yeah, great, deal. great ways exactly to deal with the way that Nod yeah. wants to go. Wyvern can yeah. push out the lanes constantly with that Splinter Bust as we see the first year. Three points in that bottom now. Oh. Two. Some trouble here. Does have Sandy. a DP and indeed, yeah, straight up. Oh, he just cancels it. Okay. He Some want to confidence, base. yeah. And the rest of his team is rotating down. Dendi is in a world oh. of trouble here. And can he get out of this? Oh, I don't know if he's down. He can't turn him into the fish. The miracle closes the gap. If Goku's done, they do still have the rift to bring him back into the reaches of Liquid. Mega kill streak from the Timberman. Nine minute fifty, book one. Complete on the mid Lycan who is versus Viper. Yeah, this is getting pretty pretty quickly out of control now. There's no doubt about it. Ten minutes in, 3k gold lead for Liquid, 9 to 4. Just everything about their lineup just gonna be that, that much smoother. Yeah. And they, they game plan a lot easier. They've got a lot of answers for, for Navi's game plan as it seems. Yeah, their movement around the map is just so crisp. Just being able to find all those pickups, get the early tower. Navi looks like they will be able to claim this top tower with the beast master having level seven. And general will have book finished up as well at a decent time. GH getting spot out here by Sinead. GH can actually get the courage not here. Mind control finds it. Wall on its way toward top. Sinead and Roger, they should have a good chance to take it down, GH. Put the shadow word. Need to get his way out of this. Box the stick charges. Is that going to be enough to save him from the Shadow Word? It's really not enough. He does go down, but look who's here. Liquid ready to find the return kills. They bring down Roger. Navi turning up in full force, but it seems to be that Liquid have the greater numbers. They look towards Dendi, bringing him down low. Winter's first to hold back one of them as they pick about the side of him. Take down Dendi, looking for Crystallize as well. Nike is actually jumping deep beneath the tower. He's, really he's definitely paying for that one. I don't know what that jump was. That one was a big... Yeah, that was crazy, but... <laughs> what was the plan there, Mike? <laughs> he got he got excited. He did just a little bit lesser. Yeah, they didn't have anything else up. Everybody was low on mana, low on health. The the shape shift had ended, and the books <laughs> can't really chase well without the shift. So they lose my control, but they do get Viper again. And Dendi they has, do. after having a pretty good landing start, is zero and three. It's a carry Beastmaster now on the on the charts, as it seems. Yep. And Venge trying to catch back up as the max stun build. Since he went for the aggro tri lane, he wanted to have that, but that really reduces the amount of damage that you can do with those right clicks. Because you usually see the 114 build or the 122, some kind of build along that variance. I mean, it's pretty much a, as we, we sort of thought would happen up top. It was the fact that this aggressive tri lane just didn't really achieve anything that the aggressive tri lane sort of set out to do. Didn't slow down Miracle Swarm and it didn't get any kills. It's not really that. Just look at it on paper, it's not a good aggro tri lane. Revenge, Warlock, Nyx. Nyx Destin is really weak in the lane. Warlock as well, you need levels in order to do damage. And they had a pull on the side of Liquid, so they could just always out, uh, out maximize them. But here we go, they look like they're trying to go for the Roche Pit here. I mean, this is one of their strengths with the, with the auras that they do have. Yeah. Despite being behind, they can take Roshan down fairly quickly. And as it seems, Liquid, they don't have wall coverage around the area. Can Na'Vi get away with this? It would be Dyer's pretty huge, but look who's on the prowl. Mind control and his illusion. Will he send them into the pit? No. Not sending it into the pit. They're gonna so get they, might, they might just get away with this, Na'Vi. Even with the level one Vengeance yeah. Aura, the fact that they just have Beastmaster is enough with the book. And this is pr this is pretty huge for this, for this lineup. He's a little bit behind, but getting objectives like that ages into the hands of Crystallize. They just... Made a, a sweet little play that the sort of one-ups Liquid. Liquid didn't seem to have a clue of that going on. Yeah, they definitely had no idea. Kuroki was sitting behind Miracle Bottom. They thought some gank was coming out, but now Navi, they have their strength, strength of numbers moving up, but they have to watch out for the Splinter's first, Roger. Just get the stun onto Kuroki. They take Manton, they swap him back there. Kuzan goes over the spike characters from there from Roger. They've lost Kuro, but it returns. The Nako goes down. One for one. The two of the man ready to fight. So is Miracle. Pops the Phantasm, brings in Dendi. Triple kill for Matumba Man and Navi. I don't know if they're even getting out out of this one. Roger gets ripped apart as well. And Crystallize, he's also going to be going down by the looks of it. Mind Control blocks him off. Crystallize trying to desperately do something, but there's nothing he can do at all. 13 minutes in, they get the Rose Jam, but they subsequently get massively team wiped. And the, even the, the Rock, but 
Yep, Matu comes up from the back. They try to hold over commit. Well, they try to commit onto Kyung Suro because the Winter's Curse versus this aura lineup is really devastating, but Miracle and Matu just pierce the back lines and absolutely demolish Navi. Level 12 is Lycan already at this point in time with that book too. It just shredded everybody. Summer man is absolutely loving it. Roger. Let's have eyes on to GH. GH getting all the bounties. Gets both of them. Only 150 gold away from having the blink dagger. 14 minutes in. Could have been a strong partner for GH. Does get caught out by the stun. And this will put that blink dagger on hold if they can finish him off. Mind control jumps forward. The GH is gone. Sonic Wave comes out onto two. Spike Carapace was there. They'll look towards Crystallize. Got a word here for Sonaco. Keeping Crystallize alive. Now they're against the first off. Pops down the Winters Curse. Sonaco's hitting into him. Can they keep Crystallize alive? He swaps himself away. Tag teaming Dendi into the front line of the action. Just the slow on to Kuroki. Roar as well. They're looking to take down the Wyvern and they will find a beautiful stun from Roger. Gets both of them. But my control, he's still able to blink out. Doesn't matter. Dendi gets the double as the Viper Strike Poison ticks him down. And that is exactly what Na'Vi needed to strike back with there. Not only getting GH at the start of it, but finding two kills after putting GH's Blink Dagger timing on a little bit of a waiting list. And now Roger oh, has Roger's got his own. Wow, Roger with some very clutch stunts coming out. Some really nice stuff. I mean, despite Carapaces as well, every time. Yeah, he's got the 2 one four build. So yeah. that duration of the stun was more than enough to save his body. But Liquid, they didn't have their two big ultis up. Sure, they had whatever an ulti, they should, they had the use Sonic Wave, but the two big ones at this moment in time is really lucky. Matu's yeah. ulti and the Phantasm, it does seem like, especially from that last engagement. Probably more so Matu. I think that's the biggest one. He's got book three finished up already. That's, I mean, it's, it's 15 minutes in Owen. They spot Roger out here. He is invis though. Always oh, stuck. Have another they don't challenge. have further vision though. They using wolves. They're scouting out Dendi. They do see him down here. Crystallize gonna be coming down. Matu just gonna come in on the hey, Kill straight away, comes forward from Mike Show, lands down the slow. Matuma Man just bites into him with the physical, and Dendi is gone. He's gone for Crystal. He certainly is, he's not stopping. But we imagine Mr. Octopus the time, but indeed, with the purge from the Necro unit slowing down this vengeful spirit, Crystallize and Dendi getting picked apart by Matuma Man on the big bad wolf. Matuma Man 10 0 3, and as you say, 16 minutes in, having incredible farm. I mean, this guy is, this guy's like, he's so terrifying. They banned, they prioritized banning him so heavily in this game too. They banned Life Healer alone during the first game and still get one of his significant. I mean, because as we were saying when they drafted, yeah, because of that, you were like, well, maybe Matthew's going to be playing the co-op because most of his big stuff's there, but we sort of forgot about it. Na'Vi, I think they certainly forgot about it. But Simmerman's life and getting through and having an absolute cracker of a game so far. Roger scouting out the two supports from the side of Liquid here. The blink, though, from GH. to distance himself from Roger. And now I believe Liquid will probably take it a little easy, maybe play as a unit, just letting uh, Lycan farm in the meantime for Shapeshift back up. But Shapeshift only has a 20 second cooldown remaining now, and he's on his way toward an Assault Curse as well. And look at the wolf, look at the wolf uh, scouting, just standing on top of the uh, They so know exactly where they're going. Roger. Roger. He's up on Sakura, but he has to blink away. The team wasn't quite in position to do anything behind him. Mm -hmm. Very deep, aggressive wards coming out from Liquid. They see all of Navi yeah. walking through this. Full information, and Matu has priority. He's going for objective. Pushing out top lane, gonna go for that tier one top. And they're gonna have all their ultis up now. So they are definitely ready to take a fight. Looking very, very scary for Navi. They have this lineup, Viper, Venge, Cause. Playing from behind and quite quite a bit behind as well now. Six to eight gold lead that Liquid have at this early stage. He's got a very like, early game team fighting lineup and it's it's Dying spot 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 by any means at this moment in time. Seven K gold lead. Dire structures are fortified. <laughs> Very little they can do at these tier twos. I mean, they are going to try for it from the Tumulan straight away. Going for the old GH with this one and the the turn round with the chaotic offering, but it only holds the back for a couple of seconds. The swap comes in, but look who's there. GH gets it up straight away with the Fisher out. Dendi will fall. GH does go down in return. The Tumulan looking to continue to chase. He's a little low himself, does have to be careful. Will get himself away. Winter's Curse onto General just to make sure he couldn't do anything to interfere with Matuma Man's escape. And Na'Vi will lose the Beastmaster as well. Three down. 
I mean, they do bring some of Liquid fairly low. They do get the kill onto GH, but it's still not good enough. It cost them three heroes. Liquid still getting away with absolute murder. Yeah, the Viper isn't able to really get much off. He's just getting jumped on in the fights and getting exploded by everything that Liquid does have. Even if he gets swapped oh! back. Oh! <laughs> Roger. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a nice little thing. Well played, come out. Yep. They're able to find something off of all that, but yeah. Liquid's sheer aggression. Navi doesn't seem to be reading the map of Liquid's movements whatsoever. They just keep getting these fights in Liquid's advantage. Even though they've got all the ultimates that are used by Navi, it's just not enough to be able to deal with what Liquid's got going on. Radiant and you kind of feel for Crystallize as well. Yeah, he's had this Mask of Madness and that since he struggled to get his next item. He had the Shadow Blade queued up, now he's got the BKB queued up. You can tell that this Venge, he's in a position that he just you don't plan to be in and you're just kind of looking at the game and you're asking yourself, what can I actually buy that allows me to do more? And at the moment, yeah, he's not good for the BKB, so he can buy a bit of time to at least get his spells off in the fight. But even so, this carry Venge is not going to have much of an impact against Liquid's support. No, definitely not. Right. When you're playing this carry Venge, yeah. you, would, you need to have like an a pretty sizable advantage yeah. in the early game in order to actually stay wow. relevant and keep oh, up. Shit. But when you're versus Chaos Knight and Lycan, it's actually super hard. You don't match versus these heroes whatsoever. They can just close the gap on you. And, I mean, CK doesn't really care at all about us. Avenge, even late stages, no matter how far she is, she keeps her alive. How long is for Roche? About 20 seconds till we find out how long it's going to be till it spawns, and Liquid's taking, looking to go. They've got Book popped on Matu. He's got Shade ready, and the rest of Liquid's smoking behind him, trying to look for engagement. Gonna bring this tower down so quickly. And a hit right Radiance middle tower has fallen. Not really much stopping from the crew going for more if they want to at this stage. Chip, chip has popped. Yeah, he's going to keep this with the GG. Looking to draw their attention towards the mid as they the crew very much ready to jump in with the play if Na'Vi do try and kick off something. They forced everybody back. As soon as they see that, they start pushing out the other lanes. The damage is done. They got half of it. Half of the, more than half of the tower. Oh, the double dust. Roger gets the blink off in time, though. Liquid, they dropped a sentry, they dropped two dust, and they actually catch him. Oh, he's actually gonna come back and show himself. Goes Navi for the smoked. stun. They're coming in. They want to try and fight this. They're leading in straight away. Kuro on the front line, starts to get the item burn out. Pops the Winter's Curse to hold down Crystallize. Geez, has got the slam ready. He's gonna look for the opportunity time to jump in. In fact, this doesn't look like he actually wants to. He's holding back. Sonic Wave, not enough to finish off Crystallize. The mind control blinks in, is able to finish him off. They've lost their core, they've lost their carry, Navi, and they may lose more. GH. Still with the Echo, there's the blink, Dunford just drops it, doesn't get a lot of targets, in fact, good turnaround stun from Roger, catches out two of them, they have the Cowdy offering as well, they're bringing Liquid down low, they get the kill onto GH, Mind Control blinks away, Miracle stands up to the fight now though, and he has Phantasm, brings in Dendi, Matumba Man somehow still wants to get hit. these last hits on the kills. 12 and 0. And despite that, you know, you could see how much Na'Vi wanted to come back in on that one, and Sure, they bring down GH, but it cost them their big ultimates. They're not killing the cores of Liquid. The Rock doesn't seem to be doing much of anything. It's like a little bit of a mini stun. That's about it. Roger scouting out, giving some ammunition. Then Matu, looking for general. Double buff, extra gold for Kuroki. And that's a full AC finish. 22 minute, book 3 AC on Lycan. That's got to be some of the fastest timing on the Lycan we've seen in a while. 12,000 net worth at 22 minutes. 600 GPM on a mid Lycan versus a Viper. Well, 534, but it's almost 600. Crazy, crazy time. Yes. As it has been. I'll be very little to do against this. Roger. Trying to give some as much scouting into the as possible. And out of the two, I've been pretty impressed with the way we're watching this game. All right. You know, he's been getting some nice guns off, doing some good stuff from behind, and they're doing it again, Fog. They're trying to go for it here. It worked last auras. time. This time, Liquid oh, knows it's up. They do indeed, but Roger's got the eyes on them. Na'Vi they will know it's they know coming here. Though. They've got the sentry on the high ground there. They did see Roger for a moment. They're trying to go for the pit, though. They're not going fast enough. They're trying to commit to this, but this it's only a half health. It's 
It's still gonna take a bit of time. The upheaval and the nether toxin is going out. Uh, apparently so, yes. Liquid have finished gonna go in. And Navi, they get away with it, but they may lose lives here. The fist comes out onto two. General going straight away onto the side of it all with the axes onto GH. Then we GH forces forward, but they're already Navi. They've lost the Beastmaster. But from a man focusing Dendi, Dendi swallows the cheese. They do bring down GH. Aegis has been popped. Good. Forced back, Dendi ready to try and continue the chase with Crystallize. Well, just coming in from the sidelines, he's going to look for the perfect turn. He may just find it. No, Phantasm from Miracle comes out. The BKB's there as well. Looks towards Crystallize, swaps himself away, but the stun flies through. Miracle turns his attention towards the one, oh then the two. God. Double kill for Miracle, and maybe even more. He chases Crystallize, trying to desperately hide in the tree lines. The walls leading forward, looking for the vision. Miracle can't quite get the rift off. A little too far, a little too speedy with that mask, and Crystallize will survive, but the rest of Na'Vi fall, and again, they do get this Roshan, but it cost them ever so heavily, and it really seems that that's the only thing Na'Vi can do this game, get Rose. Everything else is a bit of a different story. Easily able to run them over. As soon as the as soon as CK pops Phantasm BKB, they all just like, oh my god, <laughs> we gotta get out of here. He's also gotten, I think Miracle's gotten the extra bonus illusion proc. I'm sure it's 50%. So oh, mid lane. No, they do find the roll, but this is there for GH, and Matuma Man just turns for the minions. Crystallizer's gone. All right. Very tricky deal to get, Roger. If it's a harassment onto GH, they do bring Dendi in. The initial slow off, but they, they've got to be careful how long they chase the age, especially with the rest of the team in the nearby. Dendi and Roger, they've got to be careful how they poke at this. Dendi's going to get turned upon. The Fisher to jump in. Miracle's there with the rift back, and Dendi's gone. Sonic Wave out onto two. Liquid, they're going to try and chase for Roger as well. And second rift brings him back. They wait out the spike carapace. Looking to juke the stuns. Great stun and blink there from Roger. We'll get him onto the high ground. Makuro's there, ready and waiting with the chase. He's got the shrine heal. Can Roger actually play his way out of this one? I don't think he can. Spike Carapace will hold Mind Control back. And Mind Control's almost going to certainly want to chase it. Oh, he, get, he gets out. Nicely done. I can't believe he escapes that one, Roger. Wow. Small little win, yeah? I mean, well, not really win. They killed GH, but they lose Dandy. But win for, win for Roger. I tell you, he's yeah. been playing his heart. Roger's been doing a great job. He's uh, yeah, has been he's only been the flashiest out of Na'Vi this lineup in this, uh, in this game. Some uh, great next assassin plays. Just getting so much information and Radiance not dying that much shot. at all. 449 in a situation when your team's down 15 to 29, 26 minutes in. I think you're pretty happy as to support Nixus Assassin. For yourself, at least, you may have sort of different feelings towards the rest of your team. It's not going Radiance great for now. No, definitely. And I mean, he's playing this Nixus Assassin versus a 13-minute book three or 14-minute book three. So yeah. it does make it a lot harder. And it's a, it's a group up liner from Liquid. So it's, it does make that game a lot harder for the Nixus Assassin and bottom GH. Away. General does have Blink Dagger. He has Necro Book and Roar. A little bit low on the mana. Yeah, but... Keep for a leading. Cold and Brace will be there. They get the Roar onto Kuroki. He's trying to focus down the Wyvern first. They drop down the Chaotic Offering, but Miracle's there with the BKB and the Phantasm. Looking towards Crystallize. Crystallize gets himself out of range, but the Warlock's not going to be as lucky. Picked apart. Crystallize still gets dragged in by the grips of Liquid. They put the Fissure Block off on Dendi. Dendi down as well. Roger. The only one to escape with his life intact. They've lost four Na'Vi. They might just pod in a second. They do all have buybacks. I mean, just the Na'Vi we know that they will fight till the end. But it's looking to be quite a grim one. Mind Control's low. He's got Lincoln's here though, so he can block the mana burn. Oh yeah, this is... Oh, when he pops dust, he expects Roger to be there. Oh, oh. Roger, Roger. with a quick blink. He's calling Oh, he's gonna miss the stun though. That should cost him his life. He's got Spike Carapace up again. Mind Control's trying to wait it out. He's got to play with it. Roger. Can he actually yeah, live it? Yeah, he oh, no, he's down. They do find it. Mid lane gets cleaned up. Yeah, I'll have to just eat the racks already. But again, these are those sort of players who are drawing away the full force of Liquid away from the base. Sure, you still lose, a, lose your mid lane, but maybe the damage to the base would have been higher. You know, if, uh, if uh, Roger was pulling him away. Oh, yeah. So now it's a, it's a full heart on uh, on Matu. It's about to be a full heart on Miracle as well. So it's it's looking pretty done here. 20k gold lead with a CK. 21. 20, oh, I said 20. It just ticked it up. Just, 21. It just ticked, yeah. 21k experience <laughs> though as well. 21k. 
And now, yeah, reality rip is spell immune. Does anyone even have BKB on the side? Uh, Radiance, uh, Crystallize almost does. So he almost does. Miracle's preparing for the future. Yes. Crystallize is going to see that and he's going to sell his parts of BKB. What's the point? We need that rapier in there. Rapier Vengeful Spray. I've never seen it before in my life. Don't know if that would even do it. Radiance, probably not. <laughs> Unfortunately. Dendi's not going to queue up a blade now. He's trying to return some of that damage. But dude, back. couldn't that be the strat though? You buy six rapiers, then you die, and then your aura just kills whoever killed you. <laughs> six rapiers? That's more gold than they have across their entire team already. In this whole season of Dota. <laughs> Everyone on the side of Liquid. Well, the bit three cores hitting their level 20 marks, getting those big talents. We saw being pointed out Radiance by our lovely tower. observer. Machi now working toward bottom. It's an arcane rune as well, so straight value here. Hobbing the necro book. He chose the, uh, and he also, if you notice, he put the 16% peril and full damage over the shapeshift duration. And oh. made a point. There we go. Party time for the boys. Funny wave on two. Crystallize. He's Radiance down, bottom. but does have buyback available. The rest of now be getting back in general. Brought in, get the force off, dropping down the chaotic offering. Miracle's BKB is now worn off. They're turning towards the chaos knight. He's having to back away. Miracle will still be able to pick up the warlock with the illusions. Jump forward. This comes from Roger holds back the two of them, but they're looking towards Crystallize. Crystallize fall back, but this he's down. GG is called. It's finally all over. Liquid take the win 30 minutes in. Quite a win indeed. Narvi, they did indeed fight to the bitter end. But ever since the lane, it looked like it was pretty much done and dusted. Liquid. Taking the easy road to the chairs, it seems, with that.